Bat boxes can be used to extend the reach of cables. As you're probably aware, most cables will lose energy over a distance. For example, here we have a geothermal generator outputting to this cable. We know that this insulated copper cable will lose one energy unit for every five blocks travelled. Now, at first, it would seem like the energy loss would be split up across each of the five blocks, losing 0.2 energy units for each block travelled. This is not the case, however. The one energy unit loss only occurs at the fifth block. So if a bat box is placed down at the fifth space instead of a cable, it will receive the full amount of energy with no energy loss whatsoever. From there, you can connect another four cable segments to the bat box's output face, which can then connect into another bat box. This process can be repeated over an infinite distance. This may be particularly helpful if you're finding that large energy farms made up of solar panels or windmills are taking up too much space. You'll be able to move them away and still collect all of the energy. Now you may be thinking this process will use a lot of bat boxes, and you're right, with some cables it will use a lot of bat boxes. This table here details how frequently the bat boxes need to be placed in order to maintain the zero energy loss. Just note that the tin cables or ultra low current cables can only support a maximum throughput of 5 energy units per packet. The bat box outputs at 32. This means that you can't use tin cables to draw power from the bat box. You'll be able to obtain the highest efficiency using this method with glass fiber cables. Although they are expensive, you'll only need to place one bat box every 40 blocks to achieve the zero energy loss. This will be useful in advanced energy networks if you're moving large amounts of power over long distances.